Kawasaki's ZX-10R. What a beautiful bike. This has got an Akapovic N-Can, RNG crash bungs, and GB Racing covers for the engine on both sides. Braided hoses, more crash bungs. Rear hugger, towel tidy. Other engine case, we're gonna have a nice RNG. I suppose you've got to have them, I suppose. 17 on the clock. She looks gorgeous. Not sure about the indicators here though. Still like the indicators being seen. You definitely do see them on this one. They upgraded later on. This is a 2009 model. I did upgrade later on and put them in the wind mirrors rather than on the stalks. You have your wavy discs all round. She is a beautiful bike. Nice tyres. Let's listen to the specs of her. So only a 998cc engine, a bit difficult to say only. So although they upgraded it slightly, this is a 1000SX, has a 1043cc engine. 17 litre fuel tank, 19 litre tank, 185 point miles an hour, point four they say, but does go some. 140 brake horsepower with top speed of 165 miles an hour. Beckham's 40 miles to the gallon. Again, Kawasaki always seems to up them. Torque about 82. A nice Akapovic N can, which I'm guessing will add a little bit more brake horsepower and speed. Got 83.3 torque. Again, feels a lot more this very light bike though. And 49 miles per gallon and 180 miles per full tank. Let me correct that. It does nowhere near 49 miles per gallon. Believe you me, it really doesn't. And I know I've moaned about it, I've done this one. The petrol gauge is just pathetic. It says full, full, empty. <laughs> so I'm probably getting about 30 miles to gallon. Yes, at these end pipes. Anyway, let's get back to her. Now the ZSX weighs 230 kilos. So the SX coming in at 230 kilos, and this little baby, 169 kilos. That's a big weight difference. This baby does go. So, quick comparisons. I'm not going to race up and down the road on her, but I will start her. Nice dash, I have to say. Clutching as always. Has me started a long while. On choke, a little bit of fueling, a bit rich there, you could hear that popping noise. Um, needs a bit of a ride, hasn't really gone anywhere for a very long time. Has got full service history, I know there's no problems with it, but as I said, I'm not gonna race up and down the road. Check out the Z1000SX video of me going for the tunnel. To be honest with you, maybe I really should bring it down there and race up and down through there. Very tempted. Anyway, there you go. Quick look around, a very pretty ZX10R. Kawasaki, smiley face. <laughs> Go back. The Ollins steering dampener, people moan about these, they don't really do an awful lot and so on, but they are handy having on there to be honest with you. You can get upgrades as well. Does have adjustable sport suspension as well. And a lot of people quick shift them. I'm not gonna do that, I'm reverse race them and so on. Not for me. And I don't really know why they've got these on here. All this tiny bit for your bum would never ever get the wife who's shaking her head violently left to right on the back of this. I would get her on the back of this one, but not that one, but definitely this one. But then this is a completely different beast. So thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Keep watching for my next videos. My next up and coming one, I did promise a while ago, the tyre change. Like all tourers, they just go a little bit square and the front tyre is very, very low. So, brand new tyre came today. I've already got the front tyre as well. Gone for Continental Conti Motion ones for the touring bike. Obviously, you'd have race ones on the old race bike, but they'll do. As I keep babbling, like, sub, you take care of yourselves on the road.